Hello everybody, welcome back to today's plugin uh, review video tutorial thing. Today we're reviewing Pro Cosmetics. Let's get started. All right, so starting off, Pro Cosmetics is obviously what it is. It's a uh, cosmetic plugin. It, it does cost money. It is on Spigot as a premium plugin, but I can guarantee it's so worth the money you spend on it. The author, File14, he's amazing. I've had so many good experiences with him. I used to work with him. I still do work with him on occasion and stuff. He's amazing. Um, he makes very good quality updates and everything else. So I'm doing this to show off the plugin itself and also to... Um, just play around with the plugin myself because I will be using it on my future upcoming server. So, first thing we have to see is um, it does support 185 cosmetics, works from 1.8 to 1.15. Um, it has MySQL support, so you can have multi lobbies and all the cosmetics sync over and everything. Um, you can have your own currency in it, or you can use Vault. Um, there's a fully configurable language file. You can configure all the items and all of that stuff. You can enable and disable different features. We'll look at like the 12 config files in a minute, but overall you can configure a lot of stuff. So you can see you can play like mounts, you can have songs, arrow effects, banners, balloons, death effects, emotes, gadgets, miniatures, morphs, mounts, music, particle effects, pets, trend, treasure chests, just like Mindplex does, but with these cool animations, which I really enjoy, which is pretty cool. So, to install it, all you have to do is buy and download the plugins. You can use Vault and just download Vault. Um, you can set it up, and then you can also use the treasure chest commands. These are all the commands, and then they have a full permission list here, um, which is pretty cool of all the items. They also have an API you can use, so you can download the plugin, use it, and hook it into your custom plugins or whatever else you're doing, which is pretty cool. And the reviews on it are absolutely amazing. So we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into the uh, plugins now and plugins now I can't speak into the plugin and I'm gonna show you the actual cosmetics menu on Minecraft so this is my test server and it's full of random mobs and stuff so I apologize for that so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my Minecraft camera which is full screen in Minecraft so you can see this a little better um, so one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the chest and we're gonna see what's in here so this is your default cosmetics menu with nothing changed so I'm gonna go over all the features and show you a few of the cosmetics this is your home menu you got all your different things enabled by default so everything is enabled by default you can disable any features you want of the plugin uh, separately so you can disable like individual particle effects or you can disable the whole menu and we'll go into that in a moment but for particle effects you have these nice bunch of particle effects and stuff and when you enable them they just appear uh, based on what the particle effect is so for the aura effect it's down there if I wanted to do let's say um, flame of demons and stuff that may be a running particle I can't tell um, I don't want to run around on the ground because I'm gonna get killed but they, there's the music one so you can see that just goes around you so there's a huge amount in here which you can enable and disable which is pretty cool you got the yin yang down there uh, so there's a, there's a lot of cool ones. You got music discs, and if you actually enable one of these, um, you actually have to be on the ground. I don't want to die, though. If you actually enable one of the music discs, which is pretty cool, it creates a DJ little spot, which is a very nice add-on, um, and it'll play stuff. And, of course, you can unequip by just clicking unequip, or you can right-click each one of these, and it will disable individually your things. You got your arrow effects, so you got flame arrows and stuff, and you would need a bow for this, and... I'll go ahead and get a bow out of game mode 1 and I can show you what these do. So pretty much those are like the little trail effects that you get on your bows and stuff when you fire. So I can't tell. Oh my god, I don't want to touch broadcast. It's You can see those little fire effects that I'm getting when hitting. So that's that arrow effect that I enabled, which is pretty cool. And of course you can change these to like a uh, green arrow. So now if I fire... It's green, and it hits and explodes in green, which is pretty cool. So they are, there's a whole lot of effects. you got death effects. So the arrow and death effects would be probably used in-game. You have a custom death effect and arrow effect when you're inside of a game, um, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to show off the death effects currently. Then you got all your balloons. So you got, like, different balloons, and you can give these to different donators or stuff, and you have all these cool things. My favorite's the TNT balloon. It just looks really cool and moves around with you, which is pretty cool. But a lot of people like the um, disco balloon because it changes color. But it's up to you. You can set these to be level exclusive, chess exclusive, cost money in game, cost money on your store, whatever you want to do because they're completely um, Minecraft friendly. So you can use these on your store and stuff as cosmetics. And I like the sound too. This cause You can't hear the sound because it's muted, but it's pretty cool when you click it. Uh, you got gadgets, so if you want fireworks and stuff, you can use those. And, of course, if you have a money system, um, you can set up uh, – what's it called? You can set up 
like ammo and stuff and i'll go into the config file in a few minutes and explain all that you got emotes so you have these animated emotes um it's kind of hard to see because i have bad lion client on right now but you can see kind of the animation behind my top hat and uh other animation from bad lion uh, you got mounts so you have different um like animals and stuff um which are pretty cool and i just fell in a hole full of these other ones um i gotta get out of f5 i gotta keep messing this up um so you have all these cool mounts and stuff you can have uh, my favorite of this is actually the pirate ship because you can just it's pretty cool it's it's meant to be not in water it's meant to be out of water but um the pirate ship i kind of like because you can fly around and stuff and it's pretty interesting um let's see what else you got you got pets so you can spawn like dogs or uh bodyguards so i have my own iron golem bodyguard um there's a whole lot you can have i apologize i got a phone call so you have all these different ones you got elves so you can have like a little custom elf follow you around and then after that you have miniatures which is my favorite actually so you have all these little guys that float around after you uh you got yoshi here you got you got a whole lot so you can there's so many things in this i kind of like the I think my favorite of, of the miniatures is the chicken, because it just, it, 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 it just is cool. I like the chicken in this game. Um, and then you have banners, so these go on top. Like, uh, you got Pug Banner, which is actually my favorite. Uh, please remove your current helmet. Uh, so, you can see I have a bunch of these things on. So, give me one second. I'm going to unequip, and then I'm going to re-equip the banner. It may not work, because I have... There we go, Pug. Can't see it because of my top hat, but there is a Pug there. Um... You got Sweden, you got the United States, you got Disco, so it changes color. I kind of like the Disco one, but personally, I like the Pug the best, because the Pug's just bugs. And then you got more, so you can change into a Creeper, or into a different mob, like a Pig, or something else. You can't see this to yourself, but as other players can see that. Um, there may be a setting that I haven't found that lets you see it yourself, or it may just be my server being weird. Uh, you can morph into a dog and stuff as well. So uh, there's a good chance it's my server being weird, but whatever. All right, so this is in-game. And now we're going to go into your configure file, which I'm going to switch over to my desktop cam here. These are all your configure files. you got a whole lot of them. You don't have to mess with the data fi file at all, especially if you use MySQL. But you can add custom songs in note block form if you want. So you can always add note blocks and other custom songs into the thing. So your main config will be the config.yml, which is located in the middle because it's by alphabetical order. Um, so you can disable worlds, you can restore cosmetics. Um, so if the server restarts, you can set up the permission add. This is a very important thing. So if you're doing, um, if you have treasure chests and stuff, make sure to add this. So you're, it fits your permission plugin. Uh, you can get your like custom mounts and pets for the heads and entities and stuff. You can set their display names. Um, so if you have like a rank or something or a tab menu that messes up sometimes, you can set that here. You got tossing items. Can you toss the pets and mounts and stuff? Should you use a 3D menu? This is a pretty cool one, um, which would uh, open up in game, and you can try that out if you want. I will not be trying that out in this game in this tutorial, but you can do that if you want. I may do a separate tutorial on how you set that all up and everything. You can set your gadget slot. So the gadget slot's the actual gadget, which would appear right now in six. Remember, it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe I, I can't tell by down there where I'm putting. But you can set up your gadget slot. You can set up the whole outline of everything. So your cosmetic menu, what it should look like, how big it should be. Should you fill the empty spots in game with this outline of um, gray glass? And of course, you can set that up with your own system stained glass play in there. Should you have an unequip all cosmetics? Should you have coins set up? Should you have a go back, previous page, next page, purchase? Should you have a purchase thing? That's the one where you pressed red or green. Should you deny? Should you have anti-lag? Anti-lag's pretty cool. Should you use MySQL? This is, would be good if you're running a network. Should you use economy? I'm going to say false. We're not going to use it, and it's going to use its own separate um, currency system. World guard. Should it use in world guard regions? And you can set up those custom regions below as well. All right, so going into the, we're just going to go down from the top here from the config. So we're going to go from all the way from arrow effects. So this is where you can configure your arrow effects menu. You got your type of uh, menu you have, the data value, so you can set custom wool colors and everything. You got your menu title, the size of it, what type. So every single one you can enable, set the name of, say, can it be found in treasure chests and stuff? You can say if it's a purchasable and the cost and the rarity. Rarity can be common, rare, or legendary. The only thing that changes is how it affects the chest. So if it's a legendary item, you're going to have a harder time finding it. You can set up the display name, the page, the slot, amount, data, material, all this stuff for every single item in here, which is the same for every single 
of the items, which is pretty cool. So you have this all set up and it's pretty nice. Now this is for every single different item in the game. You have balloons. Here's your menu for balloons. You can configure everything like I just said in the other menus in here. And it's the same for every single one of the files, which is pretty impressive. He did a great job at making everything configurable, which is exactly what I really enjoy about the plugin for creating a custom uh, server and everything. You can really uh, tune this to your server theme and stuff, which is pretty cool. Of course, you can enable and disable things. So if I wanted to disable death effects because I won't be using it on the server, I can change it from enable to disable false. That will remove it from this in-game menu and death effects will no longer be here. So I'll show you that once we're done going through the configure files. Um, you have emotes where you can configure the emotes again. All your settings are here and you can change everything about them. Same with uh, gadgets. Gadgets is one where you can change the actual, uh, if it can, if ammo needs to be purchasable. So I'm going to say you do not need to purchase ammo for any of these because why would we need ammo on a server where it's just us testing? So I'm going to change these to false so you don't need to purchase ammo. Um, but you can find it and buy it with. Um, I just changed the wrong thing. You can buy it and uh, find it in chests and other things. And we'll go over the chest system in a minute. Um, but I'll just change a few of these for now so I don't have to go through the whole thing. But you can configure the whole thing. Disable individual. So if you don't want, let's say, the coin party bomb, you can just disable that and it will disappear from inside the gadgets menu. So that means that will no longer appear here, which is pretty impressive. So if you want one thing disabled, you can't. Now. I'm not going to go through the rest of the menus because they all act the same, but I will go through the messages and treasure chest menus. So your messages menu allows you to change everything about the plugin, every single message in the plugin, so you can configure anything you want. You can configure the action bar, the anti-lag, the treasure chest, the mounds, the gadgets, the cosmetics, all of it can be configured in one useful file. So you can go ahead and change this to your liking and it's pretty cool to do so. So if you want to change a message to fit your server seam, this is where you would come. All right, we'll go down and we'll skip all of these because these aren't really needed right now. And we can go to the treasure chest and treasure chest data. We'll start off with the treasure chest.yml, which is your bigger file. Is it enabled? Should you be able to do it? Uh, you can configure the category names. You can create a custom name if you wish. You can create the layout of the ground, which I'll talk about in a minute. The rarities, should it be common, rare, legendary? Should it be enabled? Um, should it be purchasable? How much does it cost? How many chests does it, how many chests? should you open at once um on a on open should it send a m message in chat for the normal chest should it send one in for the rare chest or the mythical chest and should it sh open one for the um legendary of course you can cus create custom rewards like coin bags and you can check set the chances for every single one of the cosmetics in the in the plugin like uh emotes what's the chance 15 percent, 20 percent. what do you want legendary of course you can make it harder to earn um, and you can even add ammo here. You can add um, custom like VIP rank and stuff all available inside of the configure file for nice and easy setup. The treasure chest data.yml you don't really have to worry about. This will save automatically depending on where you save treasure chests in your hub. So you don't have to worry about this currently. I'm going to switch over to Minecraft cam again. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can create your own treasure chest in game. And in order to do this, all you have to do is place down a chest. So you're going to get a chest from the other um, inside of creative. And you're going to place this down in the slot big enough to hold what you want. So I'm just going to expand this a little so it's a little easier to create a chest. And you're going to just stand on top of it. And you're going to type the command slash PC, which is pro cosmetics, treasure chest add. And it's going to go ahead and create the treasure chest below your feet here. And you can see it has the default normal, mythical, and legendary treasure right below your feet here. And of course, you can do slash PC treasure give. I can't spell treasure, apparently. Tre tre no, I spelled it correctly. I spelled give wrong. PC treasure give the player. I'm going to do legendary treasure. And let's say I gave myself a thousand legendary treasures. And all I have to do to open it is click it. It will change into the blocks, which we configured inside of the configure file and do this nice little cool animation. Now, if another player tried to walk over here right now, it would kick them out. They're not allowed to stand inside and it will bounce them back. Meanwhile, I can't leave until I open the chest so I can open the chest. You can configure the different particle effects it has, which one's rare, which one's common. So you got to see I got two rares, one common 
and I got another common, which is less of a cool thing. And it announces everything in chat as well, and you can configure that to your liking. Um, we'll open another one so I can show you again some of the other things. We'll try to get a legendary and see what happens when you get a legendary effect, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and open this. That's common, common, common. So I got really unlucky with this uh, group of chests here. But you can configure these all to your liking. And it's pretty unique because you can change everything up to be completely custom for your server, completely fit your theme. And, of course, support is provided with the plugin in their Discord server, which is pretty cool. Um, so, of course, you can open these and find things. So you can find I found ammo for the trampoline. So why don't now that we have ammo, why don't we actually do the trampoline? Um, so I can open up gadgets and I can go down to the trampoline now that I have ammo and I can go over here and I just place it down with light click and you can see I'm now jumping on the trampoline and it has this cool effect. It also makes sounds, which I can't hear because I turned it off, but it does make sounds as well, which is pretty cool. So it's very unique. It can be configured. Everything in the plugin can be configured and hopefully you do check it out for your server because I do recommend it if you ha need cosmetics for your hub server. Um... Thank you, File, for creating the plugin. Great job on it. Hopefully, this tutorial helps your buyers and uh, future customers and everything understand what's in the plugin and what you should do with it. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the plugin, I'll leave. Um, you can go to the plugin page and contact File about it. Um, and if you have any ideas for future um, videos here on the channel, leave them in the comments below. And you can find all of the BGHD development link as well in the comments, in the description below as well. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching. Before my voice goes out, I'll see you next time. Good.